Hello everyone and welcome back to another Canva tutorial. My name is Ed and today I'll be showing you how to create a quick and easy Instagram bio link website. You can use this website to neatly and visually house all manner of links and cost promotional content for either your personal or professional brand on Instagram. Let's jump into Canva and get started. Alrighty, so here we are on the Canva homepage. From here, we're going to search for BioLink website in the search Canva bar. And we're gonna click through and have a look at these templates for one that sort of screams out to us and catches our eye. You usually know which one you wanna use when you see it, it really just like clicks with you, right? So let's go through. I'm liking all of these, but I do want something kind of minimal, kind of has lots of visuals in there too. And I quite like this one here because it has a profile picture over here as well as a cover image clean buttons down here and it overall has this feel like it's a natural extension of the Instagram UI or user interface. So I'm going to quickly select this one here and I'm going to rename this to Chando's IG bio link website and we are ready to go. Now that we have our template we're going to copy and paste these pre-prepared images in from another design that I prepared. So we've got these images here that we want to use. So this is our sort of, I guess, placeholder profile picture over here. So I'm going to click select that, get rid of it, paste our new one in and just drag it over the frame for it to pop in. I'm going to double click now just so I can fine tune the placement of this profile picture. And I'm happy with how that's looking. Going to go back to this other design that I prepared and get this image here, which will be our cover image. I'm going to quickly remove that as well. And then again, drag this in and position it in a way which I like. So I'm thinking we do it something like this, just to get a bit more of these other objects sort of showing in this image and happy with that so far. We're going to change the text in our headline from Jolene to Jane Doe. And Jane Doe isn't actually verified on Instagram, so we may remove this blue tick element over here, although it is pretty cool and it's something to work towards. Hopefully Jane Doe can be verified in future. Once Jane Doe is all done, we're gonna go down here and we're going to change this to lifestyle blogger, just to sort of give Jane Doe a bit of a headline. So for these text boxes, we've already got some placeholder text in there, but I'm gonna change these to reflect a bit more of what Jane Doe wants to share. So we'll go for a variety of different links, like watch my latest vlog. So I'm gonna double click this to select the whole text line in one go. Watch my latest vlog. And over here, we'll go for potentially view my latest guest article. For this one here, we'll go for I'm on TikTok now. And for this one here, join my Facebook community. And great. We can probably keep this the way it is now. We can probably just change that to follow me. And we can change this to send me an email. Lovely. Next, we're going to change the colors of these squares, these buttons, to match document colors or photo colors and create some visual consistency here. How you can do that is by heading up to colors scrolling down here to photo colors and as you can see Canva has picked up these predominant colors from this cover image up here it's given us the option to quickly select them for use across whichever kind of button or element we want to change here so I'm going to change these to these colors as you can see now the colors are a lot more consistent there's obviously like a brand identity going on here and it's overall looking presented a lot better great the crazy thing is the bulk of our design is currently complete. All that's left now is to group our text and text boxes together, like so. There's a small shadow element underneath each text box, so be mindful that we should select those two, just so we're sort of grouping it all together. So if somebody's clicking on these and then if their finger strays or their mouse strays, they're still clicking on what we want them to click on. And what we're going to do is we're going to add links to this. So watch my latest vlog, I'm going to add a link here. So we're going to go to the other design we prepared and here is the link to the latest vlog. I'm going to select this and here is the link to the latest vlog. We're going to add that in and because these elements are grouped together the link is applying to everything in this group here which is is great. So even if the person who's looking at this link website decides to click here or here or here it still sort of takes them to the website. They don't just have to click this text over here. So that's a nice touch for you to consider. Next, we're going to do view my latest guest article. And you can find that by doing this. 
And just FYI, these are example links. These aren't actual real websites. And I'm going to do the same thing now for these remaining two links over here. I'm going to link to Jane's TikTok page for this button over here. And then I'm going to link to Jane's Facebook community for this button over here. And lastly, I'm going to add some links to follow me and send me an email. Like the previous buttons, I'm going to quickly group these together like so. And I'm just going to retrieve the links from the next design like the previous ones. Once your BioLink website is all done, all you have to do is head up here to publish as a website. Select the style that you'd like it to sort of be in. So presentation is useful for a multi-page site with easy page controls. Scrolling is good for a single page site with a parallax effect. Classic navigation is cool for a multi-page site that requires a navigation bar. And standard is good for a single page website with a navigation bar. I think for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll show you standard and you can take a look at how that looks. So here is your IG BioLink website in all of its glory. It's currently on desktop, so it's looking quite large, but I've overlaid a mobile version on the right here, which demonstrates how it would look on mobile. And as we're scrolling through, everything's looking awesome. You can obviously click all of these links and they'll take you to the websites that you're after because we've got fake sort of placeholder links in there. We're gonna be getting these error messages, but when you're doing this yourself with your actual links, it'll take you straight there, which is awesome. And again, your followers can kind of just click this link from your IG bio and it takes you straight to this sort of hub where all these useful links can live because you can only do one link at a time on your actual Instagram profile. This is quite useful because now you can house all these additional CTAs and there's just so much utility here. And we're all finished. Super easy, wasn't it? You now have a super handy landing page of sorts that you can use to direct your audience to important links or your other channels. So much utility achieved in such record time. Did you like this tutorial? If so, please let us know by dropping a like on this video. If you found any of the lessons here useful, we'd also love to hear it in the comments below. Catch you in the next tutorial, Ed signing off.